Hey guys, Chris Miffer here. Welcome today to a new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to actually install Cyanogen Mod 13 onto your OPPO R7 Plus F. So Cyanogen Mod for OPPO R7 Plus F came out a couple of months back and so today I'll show you guys how to install it. Now, um, there are a couple of things you need to download before you can install it and these basically just four main things which are over here. I'll show you guys uh, bit by bit. So the first thing you need to do is you need to download some Android software onto your Windows PC in order to interface with your phone. Um, so I'm not really sure exactly how it works also and, and exactly what it does, but all I know is that you need this on your PC in order to push out commands from your command prompt uh, onto your phone. So once you're at this page, scroll all the way down. You don't need Android Studio because you, you know, you're not going to program stuff. Unless you are, then download Android Studio. If not, scroll all the way down to the bottom and hit um, this one. Install our 24.4.1 Windows.exe. So it's this one over here. Just click and download it. Um, so once it's downloaded, as you can see, it's downloaded my com over here. Just double click on it and install the program. Once you've installed it, there'll be a couple of things you need to update and so on and so forth. Um, just go ahead and update. If you have any questions about it, you can ask me in the comment section below and I'll try my best to help you. Now, once this is done, you need to go and find the directory where you've installed it into. So you can do that by searching Android over here and you should see an uninstall Android SDK tools. Right click and click open file, file location and you have it over here. Now copy this file location. Next, go over to your start menu, to your, to com to your computer, right click on it and hit properties. Add properties, go over to advanced system settings, then go to environment variables and go to path. And once you're at path, scroll down until you see another path. Now, once you're at path, the other path, hit edit. And um, you won't see this at first. So you won't see, um, you won't see this last part, you know, C program files, blah, 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 SDK. All you, it probably end somewhere else, but whatever the case is, just add a semicolon to the back of it and paste your file, um, your file location. So basically what we did just now, we copied this, right? So we copied it over. And now once you copied it over, just go over here, put a semicolon and paste it in. So once that's done, just hit OK and OK. Now don't worry, nothing big has happened. All we've done is we added some command lines to our command prompt, which we can use to push out to our Android phone. So I hope everyone's understanding so far. If it's a bit complicated, don't worry. Just rewatch the video again and just do the steps I told you. Don't worry, nothing will happen to your computer. Trust me. Now, once that is done, go and download three other things. The first thing you need to download is the obviously the Sun Engine mod itself. So just click download latest release. As of today, today is the 3rd of July. Um, this is the latest one, which is 18th of April. So just hit this one. This is the most stable one. They're nightly built, which means unstable, frequent builds. But I would go with the most stable one if you plan to use your phone as you know as your working phone or your primary phone. So hit the first one, download it. Next, go over to this other website to download this recovery software for your phone. So scroll down and hit primary recommended and just download it. All right. And last one, go over and download Google Apps, which you will need for your phone. Now, uh, for the Oppo R7 Plus F, hit ARM64 then go to 6.0 and go to Nano. Okay, so basically each variant here is how m what comes with the Google Apps um, installation folder. So I just want Play Store and some of the stuff, so I hit Nano, but if you want everything, which is the full package, is Aroma, then there's Super, blah, 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 and so on and so forth. So just, you know, have fun finding out what each one of these things are. So once you have downloaded all these things and are happy and have installed, you know, Android Studio and all, then you're ready to proceed to the next step. So click on the, I know I'm not sure, I'll put a box here to go to part two, where I show you after all this installation and preparation, how to actually install Synergen Mod on your phone. 